Now the market is flooded with diet foods, diet bhel, baked chips, baked namkeens, there is sugar free cook. Hi, this is nutritionist Harpreet Pasricha and welcome to Fit Tag. Today we will talk about such common mistakes, ki, some common mistakes what people make during their weight loss journey. Weight loss is a very sensitive issue. Hai. Most of the people want to lose weight. So if you are the one who wants to lose weight and you are not able to lose weight or you are losing weight and you are gaining back, this video is for you. So what do they do first mistake is they look at weight loss and not fat loss. Now fat loss is something which will not come back. If you reduce weight from the wrong way, over exercising or eating less and you don't know what is your fat percentage, your fat percentage drop hui hai ki nahi hui hai, there is very high chance or very high probability that this weight will come back. So first of all, it's best to do is one, do your measurements because that you will figure out that how much weight and how much inches are you losing. And two is if you have an access to a body composition machine, go and check your fat percentage, muscle mass for you to understand what is your fat percentage. Now, why am I saying this is also because when we exercise, karte hai, sometimes we are doing strength training, we also may bulk up a little muscle. Jiske wajay se weight nahi, aapka jo scale pe hai, wo kam nahi hoga, but actually fat percentage to kam ho gai hai, which is a very positive and a good thing. But you may get demotivated seeing, uh, you know, no loss on the weight. So, it's best to do your fat percentage and not just the weight loss. Weight loss can be one of the measures to check your progress, but then you have to also look at the fat loss because that is the way you would know that okay, permanently my body is fat percentage, kam ho rahi hai, mera weight is dropped down, ho hai, and that weight usually does not come Now, second common mistake what we have seen with most of the people is having an unrealistic goals. When we come to clinic, mein bhi aare, the first thing they tell is that give me about 7 kilos, 10 kilos of weight loss, wedding attend, karna hai, vacation. Pe jana hai. So, unrealistic weight loss can hamper your weight loss progress because your body has to lose weight in a scientific manner. So, as per my 21 years of experience, I would suggest that you should lose 5% in every month, 5% of your present body weight. Say for example, if your weight is 100 kg, then the first month your weight approximately 5 kg is what you should target. But if your weight is 70 kg, then you should target about 3 to 3.5 kilos and not 5 kilos. Okay? So have a realistic target because once you have a realistic target, you know that I have 3.5 kg or 4 kg or 5 kg or 5 as per my body weight. Kam karna hai, it is easy to achieve and you are not depressed, you are not demotivated seeing the progress. But if you have unrealistic goals, karenge, so one, obviously to reach there is going to be very tough, you are going to punish yourself. And two, it is very demotivating because when you do not see that results, you say, okay, kuch kaam nahi kar rahe, let's leave it. So have a realistic goal, sit with your nutritionist to figure out what are the realistic goals as per your body weight, as per your fat percentage, as per your medical history, as per your weight history. If you have lost a lot of weight loss, weight gain, kiya hai, so there is very high chances that you do not lose at a faster pace. So you may lose anywhere about 3 to 5 percent of your present body weight. Say for example, 100 hai, to 5 kilos. But if your weight is around 90 around 90, then you have to target about 4 or 4.5 kilos. So your present weight is 3 to 5 percent based on your medical history, weight history, weight loss history, your schedule, you have to decide that what is the right weight loss and set a realistic goal and not unrealistic goals. Another common mistake what we see in people is the way they are losing weight. So, if you have deprivations, crash diets, ya kuch machines and powders and you know giving up all your favorite food, just being on liquids if you are going to do all that, that is the biggest mistake you can do to yourself, to your weight and to your health as well. Because deprivation, if you are I am not eating meat, I am not eating rice, I am not eating I will not eat all these things, I will not eat my favorite food or I will be on a crash diet and have just juices or fruits or salads and green tea and oats or if I am just going to starve for 14 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours, you are giving a jerk to your body. You are taking a fight with your body. So just imagine that this is your body and this is you and you are fighting with your body. Lose weight, lose weight. I am not going to give you this, I am not going to give you this. I am going to starve you. The body will say, okay, in return, I will give you a hair loss. I will give you a hormonal change. Your periods will get fluctuated. You will have uh, 
or no energy levels so you will start having a fight with the body instead if you hold hands of your body and say Ki, okay let me see that why i have gained weight okay let me do a small lifestyle changes let me include all the food groups let me include all the seasonal uh, and local vegetables let me also take care of all my deficiencies your body is going to be happy and say okay what do you want you will say okay little weight loss so type and the way you are going to lose your weight is very important and most of the people make this mistake by starving or punishing themselves ki i will not eat this and i will not eat that in return you lead to deficiencies hormonal changes uh, some kind of fatigue or hair loss or skin changes and after 2 weeks 3 weeks or maximum 4 weeks you give up and that's a shock which your body gets into it and you start gaining more fat and more weight so choose a right way and where you have some holistic approach where you have uh, more of lifestyle changes than just giving up on all your favorite food yes portion co- control is very important selection of food is very important uh, combinations of food are very important so it is best to be under some supervision or at least observe your body and know what suits you the best and what is not leaving you lethargic tired um, something which is not causing a change in your periods and choose a right methods to lose weight another mistake is diet foods now the market is flooded with diet foods diet bhel big chips big namkeens there is sugar free cookie sugar free yogurt ice creams there are so many things and we all think you okay this is having low calorie this you know soft drink has uh, kind of zero calorie let me have but it is not all just about calorie isn't it agar khali calorie ka hota and you have to eat just about 1000 or 1200 calorie and you could lose weight then you could eat maybe one cookie one chocolate one soft drink and you know you could eat everything and you could still lose weight so it is also about the nutrients first thing second is the chemicals the additives the flavoring agents or the emulsifiers what you are having from these processed food whatever said and done even they are called as sugar free fat free or diet or no oil and baking you have to understand they have taste makers they have emulsifiers they have uh, flavoring agents they have preservatives which is going and affecting your gut and because it is affecting your gut your body is kind of slowly getting into gut inflammation there are changes in your digestion processes there are changes in your acid alkaline level and that is messing up your weight loss so instead stick to home cooked fresh meals instead stick to something which is more home cooked where you are going to flavor it with some natural herbs like curry leaves say for example if i have to have makhana like makhana is another big diet food everybody is talking about but if makhana is made at home with a little bit of ghee some curry pattas and haldi into it it is going to go, do good to you but now if you are going to buy the flavored ones from the market it is definitely not going to do good to you because it is having so many of flavors a peri peri flavor it would have so many spices and then it would have taste makers the sodium content of that would go high and it will mess your entire gut system so make sure that you are not falling prey of these kind of health foods and messing up your gut these are the common mistakes which many of people do and they uh, see that there is no progress in their weight loss so you check out of these that how many mistakes are you doing and whether it is hindering your weight loss so if you really want to lose weight you need to stick to a lifestyle change you need to stick to a holistic approach where you are doing breathing exercises you are walking you are exercising 30 minutes you are hydrating you are sleeping well you are including all the food groups you are taking care of if there is any deficiency in your body you are also making sure that you are eating in right combination and right timing you are chewing your food well so those things will help you to lose weight and keep it off permanently